Okay. So let's do this. So now remember, we got to pick out the five number summary, which is these these five items from the list. Now the minimum is always easy. So is the maximum. Especially once the list is in order, it's, it's pretty simple to pick out the, min the minimum and the maximum. Then the next thing you want to pick out is Q2 or the median. And um, it's always helpful to figure out how many numbers we got. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because we have 12 numbers, I know the median is going to be in between two of them. So watch. If you look, if I start to count across these off, um, so I'll go 72, 22. 60, 24, 56, 34, 52, 38. I'm left with these two in here. Okay. So I know my Q2 is going to be in there. Now to figure out what that is, I need to take 44, add it to 50, and divide by 2. So that is 94 divided by 2. And again, you can use a calculator. Um, 44 plus 50, there's your 94, and then take 94 and divide by 2. So I know the middle number, or Q2, is 47. I'm just going to put my 47 up here. Okay. Then to find the lower half, or the lower quartile, Let's cover up the, the upper half and then just count how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, again, because we have an even number, I know the median or the middle of the lower half, um, which is Q1, is going to be in between 24 and 34. So again, take 24 at 34 and divide by 2. That looks like 58 divided by 2. And 58 divided by 2 is 29. Okay. Again, you can crunch this out on the calculator. You don't have to do it any minute. Now let's look at the upper half of the data set. Um, to figure out the upper quartile or quartile 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, there's six numbers. So that means quartile three is going to be in here because there's three numbers to the left and three numbers to the right. And again, I have to do this. 56 plus 60 divided by two. Um, I'm taking that calculator for this one. <laughs> so that's 116 divided by two. 58. Some of you guys could probably eyeball this and say, hey, I know that's 58. But just to be sure, find, find the average of these two numbers. That's what we do when we add them and divide it by two, is just finding the average. Uh, yeah, I'll go back in a second. So then next, I know, now this one, this one, this one's going to have to be a big number, a number line. Because my minimum is 20. And my maximum is 98. Okay. It's still going to make it the same size as this one. But if you look at our paper, let's look at the paper. If you look at the paper, um, it jumps from 20, it goes 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So these little marks in here, they're actually going up by two. So it goes 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and there's 30. And then it goes 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Okay, so I'm going to copy this number line on my paper. And I'm going to leave it there just so um, so I can see it and make sure I, I copy it correctly. So I'm going to move this one over here. Go as far as I can. So 20. And technically, there's, there's five marks in there. I mean, uh, 10. So here's the 40. Right, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. And same thing here it goes 
This one's actually eighty. There you go. I got it off. Okay. And I made um, like technically this one's ninety. I made it a little. I made those a little bit darker, so we can see them. Now I'm going to put them in, even though it's not on our paper in here. I'm going to put them in, that way I know how to, I can find them fairly easy. So here's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Again, that shouldn't be too hard to figure out because it is on our sheet, and I just copied, I just copied the number line from the sheet. Okay, so I'll give you a second to copy that, and then, um, or, or to draw in your number line, and then we're going to put in our info. All right, let's put it in so, so again, Q1, Q2, and Q3, they're going as lines. So 29 is way over here. So actually, um, in between these two, that's 28, that's 30. And then 47, so here's 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. So 47 is in between these two. And then Q3 is 58, and 58 would be right here. There so goes 52, 4, 6, 8. And I'm just going to draw my. I'm going to use this new line here. Okay. Let's see. So there's my box part. And the minimum, remember the minimum is a dot. It's the whisker part, and then the maximum is also a dot. And that's also also a whisker part. So there's the the box and whiskers for number three. Okay, and I'm gonna lower it a little so you can see number two. Now, if you look at if you look at number two, the difference between number two and number three, number two, the the quarter one, quarter two, and quartile three, those landed on numbers, and this was actually easier to figure out. Our number three, the quartiles were in between numbers, so we had to do this three times. Um, sometimes it's easy, like number twelve. I mean, number two, like number two was fairly simple. Number three was a little bit more work, but it's the same idea. Okay. We'll copy that, I'll pause it, um, 